Good morning and welcome back to Destiny Speaks. Well, today is Thursday, guys. We've got one more day left in our work week. I hope that today finds you well, that you awoke this morning in your right minds, that you had a song in your heart and a praise on your lips, giving God the glory and the honor and the praise that he so greatly deserves. Amen. Amen. Well, listen, over the past three weeks, four weeks, we've just been talking about trusting in the word of God, believing in the word of God. We talked about how to get what you need from God. We talked about the fact that God has given us a word, that he has given us desires and goals and dreams, and that we have not moved forward on them. And I don't believe, as I told you yesterday, that God is telling us these things for nothing. God has been, excuse me, speaking to you about some things that you have not moved forward on that you really need to put some action behind. When God gives you a word and when you know that you have received a word from God, you can move forward on the, on that word because we know that God is not a man that he should lie. That every word that he spoke will come to pass. Amen. The Bible says that his word will not return to him void, but it will do everything that it's set out to do. You are a word from God and you will not return to him void. The Bible says in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. Okay. And you were there with him. You were on the inside of our Lord and Savior. You were a word on the inside of the word. Amen. So you would not return to him Lord. Don't be afraid to step out on what it is that God has called you to do. Listen, you have an assignment on your life. I told you yesterday that you are not just here to wander around aimlessly doing nothing, just living life and then dying and going to heaven. No, you have an assignment. You have a purpose that God has sent you here for, and you need to be seeking the face of God to find out what it is that the father wants you to do. Listen, God can use you in any arena. You know, there are different assignments that he's given to each of us. Your assignment may be through your job. Your assignment may be through your business. Your assignment may be through your church. It may be through you being the best wife that you can be. But you need to find out from God what it is that he would have you to do and then move forward on those things. Amen. So many times we look everywhere else but at the father to find out what our calling is in life. You know, we're watching TV programs. We're listening to different uh, talk show hosts. We're reading books. We're looking everywhere. But the only place that we need to look is to the word of God. Amen. Those are our instructions. You know, that's our instructions. That's what the, what the father have given us to us to live our life by. And everything you need is found in the word of God. There's not nothing that you're searching for that is not found in the word. Every answer to every question. I said on my uh, Facebook status the other day, I don't know what the question is, but the answer is Jesus. If you will just search the scriptures, if you will just get into the presence of God, whatever you're dealing with, whatever your question is, I promise you, you will find it in the word of God. Amen. Listen, people are trying to figure out how how to make money, how to get wealth. But the Bible tells us in Deuteronomy 8, 18, it says, remember the Lord, your God, for it is him that gives you power to get wealth. Okay. Remember the Lord, your God. Don't, don't go to some magazine. Don't go to some book. Don't go to some television program. Remember the Lord, your God. Amen. Listen, I love you guys. I just feel God so strongly pressing upon us to seek the scriptures, to seek his word, to do what it is that he's called us to do. And I don't want you to miss it. Amen. If you're listening, if you can hear my voice, then this word is for you. And I believe that with all my heart. So listen, take the time today. Spend some time in the word. Spend some time in the presence of the Lord. The Bible says that you have not because you ask not. Amen. Listen, your father is the creator of heaven and earth. The Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, they and they that dwell therein. He owns it all, you guys, and he is your father. Amen. So go to your daddy this morning and have a conversation with him. Listen, I love you guys. I've got to go to work. Have a blessed, awesome, Holy Ghost filled day. Tell somebody about Jesus. Okay. This has been Destiny Speaks. I will see you next time.